Okay, what I'm going to show you today is um, I'm going to run seven days to die on two terminals um, of my eight terminal setup We're using Aster. Um, in order to run Steam, I have to run one Steam um, account in Sandboxy. And this is my first setup. You can see the yellow around it. That's Sandboxed. And then on the other one, I'll just have a regular Steam account running. And on this screen, I'm just going to demonstrate how much uh, usage. I've got both games loaded already, so there's already 9 gigs showing. If I go to details here, you can see. Um, so this one is my sandbox, and this is my main system here. One's running 1080p, the other one's just a, a low resolution display. So on the sandbox, I, um, I started a, a creative game, a multiplayer, and then I've joined it from my other terminal. And you can see uh, my two different characters there. And I'm getting about 30 frames per second, doing nothing much here. And in this one, which is this lower resolution, obviously, and I think my settings are a little bit lower, I'm getting about 50. Um, yeah, so it works really well. And you can see here how much processor and RAM is being used to execute these two terminals. Um, T4 is my, uh, my widescreen, and the one that says anonymous uh, is the uh, sandbox. So it basically doesn't know where it's coming from because it's sandboxed. So that's it. So that's running seven days to die off one computer on two different terminals.